Okay, I'm back again a bit earlier than I planned because I didn't feel like doing any normal work. So this is a fun thing for me to do that's kind of work because I'm testing my game, but it's also just kind of for fun. Though, I haven't really found any bugs so far, so I don't know if it really counts as testing. Oh cool, people are showing up in the chat. That's how I know the stream's working. And I'm not just talking to myself like a strange person. Anyway, I was uh, just starting this forest last time because I was beaten pretty badly by some of the new bosses. The library boss killed me pretty badly and so did the hidden arcade machine in the Japanese area of Greenwood Village, so uh, yeah, I got fed up with those bosses, so I just came back to do this uh, normal, easy content. So uh, let's get into it, if I remember correctly. Okay, Matt doesn't have fire equips on, so I'll give him some of those, and he should be ready to go. What does no legs have? Maybe I'm not going to use no legs. I'll just keep him as a buffing character. Uh, but yeah, hi everyone. Uh, version 2 is available for everyone who owns the game on Steam, so that's a opt-in beta, which means you have to go into the game properties and select betas and select version 2.0. And then you can play the game. And it's pretty stable, there's not too many bugs left. The only thing is that it's English only at the moment, so if you want to wait for your language, then that might take a little bit longer. And I've noticed from uh, streaming a few times already that I get a very different audience depending on what time of the day I stream. Like uh, yesterday I streamed much earlier in the morning and I had a uh, much more people from Asia watching, which uh, I, I guess I should have expected, but uh, I'll try to uh, stream during different times of the day going forward so it's different people that can watch the stream every time. And if you want to watch all of them, you can always just see them on YouTube afterwards. So it, it's probably a bit more fun to watch it live because then you can annoy me with silly questions and I'll try to answer them. Anyway, let's kill this guy. Oh, I also played around with my microphone settings a little bit, so hopefully it won't pick up background noise as much. Hopefully you won't be able to hear me breathing and stuff like that. You might still hear my squeaky chair every once in a while. Well, that's not very exciting treasure. Oh, I need the slime. Okay, how am I gonna get him? Oh, that didn't do very much damage at all. Will this kill him? Whoops. I'm gonna try that again. Uh, yeah, does everything sound good? Is my voice clear? Does it maybe sound better than before, or maybe more or less the same? I don't know. I tried listening to it, but it, it's hard to talk normally when you're listening to, uh, to your voice play back to you at the same time. It gets really confusing. Anyway, let's, uh, let's hit this guy a few times. Okay, that's perfect. But yeah, I'm trying to do a 100% run of the game. I'm gonna try to complete everything, even if it takes me a very long time. Though that doesn't mean I'm gonna do the whole game on the hardest setting, so I'm gonna turn down the difficulty a bit for some of the regular battles. And for most of the bosses. I'm probably only gonna beat the bosses on epic difficulty when it gets to the boss rushes at the end, so I can get the achievements. 
because if I played the whole game on Epic, it would be way too slow, especially if I had the challenges turned on as well, which I do. I have counter-attacking enemies turned on, which makes the game a lot harder because the enemies get a lot of free attacks. They counter a lot of, uh, a lot of my attacks, which really messes me up, especially if I don't plan very well, which is most of the time because I'm kind of rushing things and not playing it defensively. Yeah, as you can see, my party's already going down. But it doesn't matter. All I have to do is win, because everyone will get XP, even the dead people. But yeah, if you don't, uh, if you don't like the way I'm playing, you can feel free to yell at me and tell me to use more defensive attacks if you want. I probably should. Also, a lot of the time I forget to scan enemies and stuff like that, so... Feel free to yell at me if you think I'm doing something wrong. But, but a lot of the time I'm uh, I'm just being really impatient and trying to rush through, so I'm not exactly trying to play extremely well, especially since I'm also trying to talk and be somewhat entertaining at the same time. If I was playing super well, I'd probably just be thinking the whole time and not talking as much. Let's see... Okay... That was... unlucky. Uh, Cat's Cafe, I don't know what I'm going to do with that game. It got deleted off of Android because I never updated it for a few years. And they wanted you to update your games so, so as to make sure that they're secure and there's no exploits in them or whatever. I don't think any of the security problems actually affected the game, but they deleted it anyway because I, I didn't update it. So, uh, I don't know if that's going to come back to Android. It, it was somewhat popular when it first launched for a little while, but I don't think the game's really important enough to bring back. But I, I should make some kind of archive of it somewhere so that people who want to play it can download it. Like, uh, I could just release the Android installer file for it, so you can just download it and install it manually without going through Google Store or Google Play, whatever it's called now. So that's something I could do for people who really want to play the game. But whether I'll put it back up officially, I don't know. Depends if I feel like it later or not. I just, I mean, if they're gonna keep deleting my games, then I don't know if I'm gonna keep putting them back up, especially if they're just like really small games that I just did for practice. Because uh, Cast Cafe is not really a serious project. I was just doing it to see if I could make a mobile game. But uh, it, it did uh, get featured somewhere and get a decent amount of downloads for a while, so I guess I guess some people still remember the game. Anyway, I need to find those uh, those bottles so I can get the revive skill, which is very useful. Anyway, let's see. Okay. Oh yeah forgot about this. Oh, we're going down already. Oh. Oh boy. Let's see, what should we do here? Well, I'm not just gonna lie down and die, that's for sure. Uh, this version 2.0 update won't come to the free version of EBF5. The version on my website's not going to be updated anymore. Like, what you see there is what it's going to be forever. All the updates are just coming out on Steam. Wow, they are uh, they're doing a lot of damage. Stop! 
Maybe I should have put someone bulkier there instead of no legs. Uh, Anna's got a lot of HP. Oh yeah, they're countering as well. I wonder if I can capture him. Will I make this game for Android users? I'm gonna try, as I mentioned before. I, I don't know how easy it's gonna be, but it already runs on my phone. It just doesn't run very well. So it's just a question of how easy it is to optimize it. But besides that, it, it uh, I don't need to make a lot of changes to the game. The interface mostly already works fine on phones, so it's just a question of optimization. I wouldn't want to remake the whole game from scratch, so I'll, I'll see what I need to do. Okay, uh, these guys are only weak against ice, so there's not a lot I can do here. Okay, uh, let's see, I should heal. Yeah. Yeah, these enemies are showing up here in uh, in the Mimic treasure chests because it's a faux remix. In the normal game, you don't get these guys here. You just get normal enemies. And uh, all the enemies that you find in treasure chests, they always attack first when you fight them. And that's pretty hard because like you saw, they wiped out most of my party immediately. But that's why it's good to have backups. in here. Uh, okay, I can fight that guy, but I can't get the chest yet. Ooh, beer. I use a lot of beer. People say that uh, beer is not a very good item because it doesn't buff your attack as much as, uh, as Matt's buff does, as much as temper does, but it's a lot harder to use temper because most of the time you want to use it on Matt, so... If anyone has the option to use beer, it makes it a lot more convenient. Oh, the equip remix stats. They're not random. All the equips have a predefined new set of stats. So I know exactly what all the stats are for them because I programmed them. Some of them are very, very uh, situational. Like there's some situations in where they're going to be very good, but most of the time you'll have no idea what to do with them. Like the, the Halloween pumpkin helmet has a interesting, uh, interesting feature that's not always useful. And there's also a lot of uh, summon specific uh, weapons now that don't have very good stats but they summon lots of different monsters. So those are also good in situations where you just have to have your character defending a lot, like maybe in the arena those ones might be pretty useful, but uh, we'll see how they work out because they've not really been balanced yet, so I'm waiting for people to tell me which ones are too powerful and which ones are too weak. They're uh, not going to be balanced as much as the normal weapons, but I'd like to make them somewhat in the same ballpark so they're not crazy. Like, uh, I want them to be interesting and different from the original set of equips, but still somewhat balanced. Even if it's to a lesser degree. And uh, I think I'm fighting my first dragon here, so I should pay attention and not let him bulldoze me. Lazarus is ever coming back. I don't know. 
We'll see if I ever need more characters, but I don't know if it will be him. I wonder if I can actually capture this guy with a few more uh, with a few more status effects. I don't know if that's enough. Oh, oh, oh no. Well, I should have just killed him, I guess. Maybe that's what I'll do next time. Whoops. Well, that was a quick game over. I barely started playing. If you're losing your saved files, you should just back them up somewhere. You can just save them to your computer and put them on a hard drive or, or a USB stick or whatever you want and keep them forever that way. And if you do that, you can also name them so you know exactly what's on them. So if you're ever taking a long break from the game and you don't plan on playing for a few weeks or a few months, then you should just make a backup save so you know exactly where you have it. Steam Cloud should work though, but some people say it's not entirely reliable. catch one of these rakes. Oh, that was close. I need that guy to stay alive. Uh, who's gonna sacrifice their turn to catch him? Natalie has haste, so that's good. is too high. Oh well, here we go. Wow, nice. Maybe I'll catch him some other time. But yeah, I'm playing with a few challenges to make the game harder, like uh, I have a time limit on my turns and also the enemies are counter-attacking. But I'm also using some cheats to make it faster in other, in other ways, so the enemies have less HP than they would normally, and I also have more frequent limit breaks, just to speed things up, because otherwise this would be a very long playthrough, and I want to keep it somewhat interesting to watch. So enemies have more attacks, but they also have less HP, basically. Alright, let's, uh, let's destroy these guys. Oh, actually, here, here's something I can show you. In case any of you guys haven't seen this already, uh, I'll show you something cool. So, I can uh, stab this guy over here. And he doesn't take it very well. So that's new. Oh, it even hits your backup players. So, uh, as you can see, my party's been wiped out. So I'm gonna try that again.
Obviously that's very easy to avoid because you just have to kill him in one hit. But uh, if you forget about that, then uh, you're going to be in trouble. I think I'm just going to nuke everyone with Lance on the next, uh, on my next try. Yeah, people can share saved games if they want, so you can just send your save file to your friends. You can use that for cheating, but that's kind of boring. But you can also use it, like, if you ever lose your saved game or whatever. I don't want to uh, disable that feature. I like that people can share their saved games for whatever reason. And it's a single player game, so I don't really care if people try to cheat or not. Uh, what can I do? Hmm. Oh yeah, that slime bunny at the end of the foe rush. That might be quite hard. You're gonna have to try to kill him in one hit, otherwise you'll be in trouble. Though by that point in the game, you'll have tons of armor that resists wholly anyway, so most of his attacks shouldn't be a big problem for you. You can survive Genesis if you have enough armor. Okay, uh, I should take Chibi Knight seriously because she has a decent amount of attack power once she gets to low HP. Oh, okay, she's frozen. I guess she's not that scary after all. Stop, plant. Be gone. I need to get that, uh, revive spell. I'm tired of using so much coffee. Okay, uh, I guess I should hit her with ice attacks. Or thunder. Okay, let's go with thunder. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, and uh, she'll be down in no time. All right, that was easy. Thanks, panda bear. Uh, this stream's only been up for 20 minutes, so it's uh, barely started. And I'm gonna try to go for three hours, because that seems to be quite a comfortable length of time for me. Mm -hmm. If there's nothing to catch, I can just hit everyone with my strongest attacks. Wow, they, uh, they do a lot of damage. Wow. And I don't even get to finish my turn before they attack me. Well, let's hope the next wave isn't too hard. Okay, they're just normal enemies. Oh wait, those, uh, those slimes are doing a lot of damage. I think, uh, I think those might be very high level slimes. Let's see, 27 and 32! Yeah, okay, these, these slimes are very high level. But they're still not very scary. Uh, okay, we to holy. Alright, let's just go for it then. Oh, I, I don't have the creator. Whoops. Okay. Ugh.
the legs, you suck. Ouch. Stop. That slime's dishing out a lot of damage. But uh, that's what I deserve. I'm not even healing my characters properly. I just assume that oh, I'll, I'll kill them all before they do anything to me. Uh, there's, there's some new armor that, I think, activates the weather effects, but there's nothing that completely changes the weather overall. I don't have the best skills for this, so I'm just gonna summon this guy again. Yeah, I'm gonna try to get all the achievements, so I will have to beat the final boss on Epic. But along the way, I'm not gonna beat all the bosses on Epic. I'm gonna do most of them in the boss rush at the end, because I, I think it'll be a bit faster that way once I have all the equips and stuff. And at first, I kinda just wanna rush through the game and show off a lot of the new stuff without spending too much time just preparing my characters for boss fights. Anyway, uh, there's a skeleton cat over here, so let's get our fire users ready. Uh, let's change this, and okay, everyone's fire. What does Anna have? I can make her non-elemental, that's boring. She doesn't have fire or any useful elements. What does no legs have? Stealing. Bomb. Hmm. Well, I could make him freeze enemies. That might be fun. Need more snowballs. Uh, let's see. Let's upgrade this. Do I have any flare that I should be using? Penguin gives water effect. That actually might be useful. Uh, but I don't need it. I've already got chill. So if I combine chill and freeze, that should be quite effective. But most of the time I'll be using fire anyway. So don't know why I set those guys up. Alright, let's see. I think I can kill these guys pretty fast. Uh, the timer is one of the challenge modes. I only have 30 seconds to take my turn. And if I don't finish it in time, then I, I lose my turn. That's quite fun, because it, it makes sure that I play quite fast. Which is sometimes quite hard to do while I'm talking as well. But if it looks like I'm being a bit lazy on my strategy, that's that's the reason. I have to be fast. I don't even have time to read all the, the skill descriptions, especially when it comes to summons. I don't have time to read what they all do in battle. I need to remember ahead of time. So that can be quite tricky. Let's see, can no legs freeze these guys? Not a very good chance. 
Oh, there we go. Nice. first. Oh well, who cares? Uh, let's see. Let's try to take out this guy. I think he's the weakest. So yeah, as you can see, the enemies get quite a lot of counterattacks and uh, they do a lot of damage sometimes. But it really depends on the enemy, because every enemy has a unique counter-attack. Ouch. Oh, there's a second wave, so... Uh, I should take this seriously and try to keep my party alive. Oh, come on! One hit kill on no legs. Uh, I hope that means I get the first turn in this wave. Yeah, I do. Okay, no problem. So, uh, let's put some defense up. at all. Oh, what? Oh. Oh, okay. Well, they were destroyed pretty horribly. I guess I'm gonna use this. I wonder if YouTube can uh, detect uh, scantily clad anime girls and ban my videos. And uh, time for Cleaver. Oh, that wasn't so good. Should be able to finish him off now. Okay. Have I played Battle Chasers Night War? I've never heard of that, so no. If you really want to see me uh, fight the final boss, you're going to be waiting a long time. But there, there should be a few interesting fights along the way. Everyone gets XP, even the dead people. And that's because I'm uh, playing on a custom game mode called Scaling Foes. Which means the enemy level is always proportional to my level no matter how I play. So I can skip fights, I can have my players dead, and the enemies will always be at a reasonable level. So uh, that's a, a mode that I I personally quite like, and I was considering making it the default for the game, but the downside of that is that you can't grind, and you can't use that to beat bosses. 
So a, a lot of people suggested that they didn't like that kind of scaling because it made the traditional RPG uh, formula not work if you can't grind. But now you have both options. But you can only change them when starting a new game. Oh, hello. Okay, let's uh let's kill this guy before we go down there. Uh you can wait for version 2.0 to be 100% finished if you want all the other languages because right now it's only in English. But besides that, there's not much reason to wait. It might be a little bit more balanced later, but then it will be too late for you to make any suggestions. Like if you play it now and you give me your opinion on balancing, I might actually change things. But if you wait too long, then you won't have any say in how the game turns out. So I would say you can probably play it now. There's a few bugs and your game might crash once or twice, but it shouldn't happen very often. Otherwise, the beta will probably be finished sometime in January, but I don't know exactly. As you can see, I'm not exactly working on it right now, I'm just streaming. And there's no rush, really. If people want- if, if people get impatient, they can play it now, and they have no excuse if they, they get, uh, if they get impatient. Anyway, uh, yeah, I should, uh, pay attention and not die. Uh, I'm gonna start the translation soon. I, I should actually be working on that today. I did a little bit of it. I have to do, uh, I have to write up all the translation notes so that the translators have really good instructions on what they should be doing with all the dialogue. But, uh, writing translation notes is pretty boring, and there's not a crazy amount of text, but it's enough that writing notes on all of it will take a few days. But maybe, uh, maybe I can get that finished in the next day or two, and then have the translations started. Uh, what was I doing? Oh, he's still alive? Boo. Uh, will I do anything in future with UBF5? Uh, I might add more languages, that's something I'm considering, but besides that, I, I don't think I'll do any more content. I think the game's already massive and I'm pretty bored of working on it. In fact, that's an understatement. I'm. Uh, I find working on it mind-numbingly boring at this point, especially debugging and balancing. That stuff's very unrewarding, and it's taking longer than I would like. Uh, you can't buy this game on Google because it's only on Steam, so I'm not sure exactly what you're asking. Yeah, I, I don't know what you mean with your question. Hmm, what should I be doing here? Well, these guys are dry, so they should go down pretty fast. Uh, what are the additions in the 2.0 updates? 
Well, I, I wrote a blog post about it that uh, kind of explains them all in a non non spoilery fashion. So if you go back uh, either on Steam in the in the Steam news section or on my website, so you can find my blog post where I kind of outline of what all the new features are. But if you just load up the game and look at all the new achievements, then they will give you some hints as to what all the new stuff is. So that's that's a good way of getting into it. Just look at the achievements and you'll have some idea of where to look for new stuff. Oh, I don't have any keys. Okay, let's move on. Uh, I, I make a, a kind of progress report on the Discord. I I, uh, I mention what bugs and changes I'm fixing. So if anyone's keeping track of that stuff, they can just read through my Discord comments and they'll know what I've changed. But personally, I don't really keep track of that stuff myself because most of it's not very important. Most of it's really small changes. Anywho, let's fight this guy. Uh, yeah, I did play Doki Doki. That's uh, quite a fun game. Uh, it's a pretty good pr price point. You can't really argue with free. So you don't really have much reason not to at least try it. Uh, I, I could try streaming my older games as well, I suppose. I'm not sure if people would be interested in watching them, but maybe they would be. It would probably be quite nostalgic for everyone watching and also for me. And they're also very short compared to this, so I could get through all of them pretty quickly. Well, except EBF4. That one's somewhat long. Nice limes. Attacks too strong. Uh, if you're playing on scaling foes and no grind, could you hit level 50? I actually don't know. Uh, I might find out on this run. I, I don't actually know what level you're gonna end up at. Oh, there's something back here. Cool. Oh, didn't get that earlier. Okay. Oh uh, yeah, if you play on the beta, your save file will be completely fine. You should be able to use it in the future. The only thing is that if you encounter any bugs, they might damage your save file, but I don't think there's any major ones left that would do that. Just make a backup of your file regularly and it should probably be fine unless you discover some really major bugs that I don't know about. But if that's something you're really worried about, then you should probably waste. But I don't think you need to be too worried. Thank you. 
Okay, all of these enemies are new. So, uh, let's blow them up. Stop spamming me. You can't buy my game using Google. I don't even know what that means. Okay, let's uh let's try to catch one of these dogs. Okay, they're easy to catch. Wow, the chat's uh, it's turning into all sorts of languages now. Well, I, I can't reply to any of you guys if you don't speak in English. some other time. Oh, there's more bears. Okay. I can't use Google Translate while I'm playing. I don't have time. You guys should use Google Translate, but then the text might be so badly translated I won't understand it anyway. strong. Anna, your damage sucks. How do cards work? Uh, you find them everywhere. They're in treasure chests. Uh, if you've already opened the treasure chests that contain the card, and because you're using an old saved file, then you're gonna have to go back to the screen with the open treasure chest, and then you'll automatically get the card. So you'll have to backtrack through pretty much the whole world if you've already opened all the treasure chests and that will get all, get you all the cards that used to be in those chests. And what they do is they, they give you little perks, they boost your summons a little bit, they boost your SP and they, they boost your catching wraith for monsters and they give you some more gold, stuff like that. It, it's not a big difference but it starts to add up after a while. Hardware? Do you need to play the game in maximum settings? I guess that depends on what you consider to be maximum set it settings, because it's not going to run in 4K no matter what you do. Uh, even if your hardware is fast enough to run it in 4K, I don't I don't think the game will actually work in that resolution. But uh, I, I recommend playing it on just 720p. Because that's kind of the ideal resolution. The, it's the ideal kind of balance between uh, performance and and sharpness. I mean, it's still a flash game, so it was never really designed to go into super high resolution. And flash isn't really great at scaling that high anyway. But uh, yeah, it, it totally depends on what kind of resolution you're happy to play the game at. The lower resolutions don't really require very good hardware as far as I know. But a lot of people want to play it in HD and they want to put the settings up, so you'll have to play around with them and see what works for you. 
but my computer's seven years old, and I think I can play the game in pretty high settings, so I don't think they're unreasonably high. And you can also try the free version on my website, which will give you a pretty good idea of how the game runs, if you want to try it out. Yeah, it's all uh, made in Flash, which is Action Script 3. And Flash is not going down, it's only the browser plugin for Flash. So you won't be able to play my games in a browser anymore, that's all that means. And I have not really published a browser game in four years, so it doesn't really affect me. Hardware do I have? I don't remember exactly. It was a pretty good computer at the time, but it wasn't exactly top tier. So by today's standards, it's uh, it's not terrible, but it's slightly below average. It can't really run AAA games very well. It can just barely run New Doom, so I can I can run the New Doom in the lowest settings. So, that's about where my computer's at. Oh, that was a big mistake. Oh, I, I don't know how Steam Workshop would work for this game. Just because of the way I programmed it, it's not really very easy to replace parts of it because the whole game's basically in one file. And from what I understand, Steam Workshop just kind of replaces files in the installation folder and the game loads them in. I don't exactly remember how it works, but I looked into it and I thought that my game, uh, this game's not really compatible with that just due to how, how I've programmed it. But there's, there's other ways of modding it without Steam Workshop. You can decompile the the file and just change stuff, and some people have been doing that. You can change the code and you can even change some of the graphics if, you, if you're familiar with Flash and decompilers. Oh yeah, and if you're worried about my games not working in browsers anymore, I will be releasing uh, an app on Steam that contains all of my old Flash games. So they will all be backed up on Steam, and that will probably be free or very cheap. Though I will have to make some changes to some of them to uh, like remove copyrighted characters, and I'm gonna die now. Rest in peace. Too much talking. Uh, is, is my website updated? I, I don't know what you mean. I'm not up. I'm not updating this game on my website. If that's what you mean. The only version that's getting the update is the Steam version. Am I satisfied with the sales of EBF5? Yeah, it's done very well. Uh, I'm gonna have to defend my guys this time a bit better. 
Uh, I made half the uh, wraiths uh, immune to holy just to make it a bit harder because it was too easy if they were all weak against holy. Because you knew you, you could wipe out a whole wave of enemies if they were all wraiths with one attack if they were all weak against the same thing. So I figured it'd be a bit more interesting since uh, holy ghosts are a thing in, uh, in some games. Uh, I, I might fix some major bugs in my older games. Like, I think in, uh, like, the Kissin' game, the timer didn't work correctly, which is a major part of the game. In Mecha Dress Up, you can't right-click, which would make it a lot easier to select items if you could. So I, I might change a few things like that that make really major changes. But I'm not gonna fix smaller bugs. inspiration for the first game was kind of obvious. It's more or less a parody of uh, Final Fantasy and just similar turn-based RPGs in general. do very much damage. Oops. Tons of game ideas of all sorts of genres, but there's no time to make them all. I mean, it, it's easy to come up with ideas, the hard part is actually making the rest of the game. But generally I would avoid any genre that has like some really complex programming, like involving like uh, smart enemy AI or procedurally generated lines. Because I don't really know much about that, and uh, I wouldn't even know where to begin programming something like that. But any any type of game that I feel like, oh, I, I would know how to program that, then I, I could come up with some ideas for that fairly easily. So it, it's not really any sort of shortage of ideas. Everyone's got ideas, and they're not hard to come up with. Okay, let's uh let's move on. Let's get out of here. Well the most popular game in EBF is pretty obvious if you look at the stats on um, Congregate. EBF3 was the most popular. Just due to the time that it came out, that was when most people were playing Flash games.
Okay, let's get ready for the next wave. Have I been recognized by someone on the street? Well, most people don't know what I look like, even people who know who I am. Though, I might get recognized if I go to a video game conference or an expo. Not by a lot of people, but by at least one, sometimes. When I was, uh, when I was uh, exhibiting my game in Glasgow, uh, about five people, uh, kind of vaguely remembered the games, and then another five kind of knew them quite well. So, I'm sure people will recognize my games, but they will probably won't recognize me. Alright, let's see. Okay, everyone's dead. Uh, I kind of wanted to catch some of them. Maybe next time. <laughs> What's good against squids? I don't remember. Probably thunder. should learn this. There we go. Yeah, I need to level this up for sure. Wait a second. There was another thing I think I forgot to guess. Oh, I didn't even do this puzzle. Cool. Oh, I don't think I'm really gonna use that. But, uh, I should talk to this guy. Oh, I already got the spell earlier. Well, I should be using it. There we go. So, uh, if that's for magic defense, then I'm gonna give that to no legs. Oh, he can't have it. Then in that case, I'm gonna give it to Anna. And, uh, I'm gonna give this to someone else. No legs can't have it. Can Anna have it? No. I'll give it to Matt. Okay, my buffs and debuffs should be a lot stronger now. I probably should have done that earlier. What else do I need? Oh well, I don't really need this, but it might be useful. Oops. Let's see what other bonus skills I should be using. Oh, Nasali could learn some water spells. Might be useful, I don't know. Okay. 
Okay. Should be able to continue now. Time limit isn't really that bad unless you need to stop and read descriptions. If you've kind of memorized everything and rehearsed your strategy quite well, then uh, 30 seconds is plenty of time. I already forgot who I gave my skills to. Whoops. Come on, no legs, I need you. Well, you don't need a hacked version of EBF5 because it has cheats now that make it incredibly easy. Okay, what was I gonna do? Here we go. Oh, that was pretty awful, and I don't actually think that was the one I wanted to use. What am I even doing? That's the one I wanted. Much better. Okay, this should do a lot of damage. Yeah, that was pretty good. Acid, huh? I don't care. You're gonna be dead very soon. Yeah, that's a lot of damage. Natalie's a lot stronger in this version. Not only is uh, her area of effect spells are a bit stronger, but her single target elemental spells are a lot stronger. Alright, treasure hunter achievement. How many is that? A hundred chests, I think? Let's see, do, 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 do. 200 chests, okay, that's already quite a lot. Okay, uh, I should try to catch these guys. But, if they have to die, then that's okay too. a lot of damage. Come on, no legs. Let's give her another turn. Ouch. That's not a work safe comment. Uh, let's see. What else do I need to capture a dragon? This will be enough. Oh, he plays map. No, 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 stop. Stop. Ugh. Stupid crab. I'm never gonna capture some of these enemies. 
never. What's going here? What's going on over here? An enemy? Oh, oh, I need to catch all of these guys too. Well, I can start by blowing them up. Dragons don't have bodies, they're actually just floating heads. No, I mean they totally have bodies, yeah. They're, uh, they're definitely real dragons. Okay, can I catch this guy? Okay, just barely. Yeah, if you can't really play the game on my websites, then the Steam version is not going to run any better either. It's got a few more uh, resolution options, but most of those just make the game bigger, which in your case would just make it run slower. So if you're not getting a good performance with the browser version of EBF5, you're not going to get any anything better on Steam either. So you should probably wait till you get a new computer, or maybe someday when I make the mobile version, that might run better on a phone. But we'll see. I'll have to see what's possible with the mobile version. Anyway, uh, let's kill this guy. Lance gets to die. Let's, let's get Lance out of the way so we can die off screen in silence where we don't have to worry about him. Wow, 40,000 damage. There was no way he was going to survive that. Oh, Saiken would have been useful here. person medal. I think I have that one. I don't know, I'll check. I think I missed some of them though. I think I missed beating Anna on epic difficulty. So I might do that one off camera. Which means I can load one of my old save games because there's no reason for me to play from the beginning when I've done that one in the past. Hmm. Okay. Oh, they're dry, so... That sucks. Okay, I guess, uh, let's just summon a big guy. That was uh, a bit overpowered. Yeah, I'm not making any promises with the mobile version. I can promise that the game will run on a phone. Whether it runs well or not, I don't know. And if it runs terribly, then I'm not going to publish it. I'll just have to see how much I can optimize it and how much work it's going to be. Because it's, it's too early to tell right now. Okay, let's uh, set Natalie up 
That's my attacker again. And it's a good thing I taught her Bubble Blast. Oh, I didn't even kill them. Disappointing. Who wants a knuckle sandwich? medals after getting the cast one. Oh well, maybe I'll cheat to get that one too. Because I already have those two medals unlocked on Steam, so I, I don't really feel like going back to play that part of the game again. Uh, what should I do? Oh well, let's just kill them with this. Non-elemental damage for the win. It works in any situation. Right, I do play the game with the mouse for walking around on the map. If I was playing it for like my one and only time ever, then maybe I would do it with the keyboard and then play it that kind of retro way. But since I've played this game a few times before, I don't really feel like trying to find all the treasures without cheating. So playing with the mouse speeds that up a bit. This game's already long enough, so I don't want to make it longer than it has to be. Who there, I no scare. I fight the foe, no fear. Heart is pure, head is smart. Dark rock, it see all. Rock is bad, rock is spy. Some very deep writing we got there. this? Is there something in here? Hmm, I didn't know this was here. Very strange. I don't remember drawing this or programming this into the game. I think someone else put this here without telling me. Hmm. 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 All right, it's a bunch of stump ghosts or something. So uh, let's scan these guys and think of a good strategy. This foul beast has very bad breath. Okay, deal. Oh, let's see what we can do. Fire, ice, and holy. That is very convenient. We can take him out piece by piece. So, uh, Natalie can use uh, Judgment to do massive damage. 
Uh, what's that do? Oh, that unleashes Psychin. That's pretty cool. Gives her more HP as well. Okay, so Natalie, I think, is going to be the main attacker. Does she have anything else that boosts Holy, though? Nurse outfit? No, healing. Medipant. No, that's not really what I'm after. Well, I guess we can boost our fire skills as well, maybe, with this. Oh yeah, she should defend more to get a uh, boost to her magic power. That's what I should be doing. Okay, so she's ready. Matt's ready. Actually, if Natalie's my main attacker... Nah, she can't use gen uh she can't use judgment very much, so she doesn't need the pocket watch. And Lance can be an attacker too. Okay, that looks good. I just need to get ready for horrible status effects. That's what I need. So I'm going to need uh someone that gives me bless. So that should keep me safe for this fight. That's morale. Okay, there's Bless. So I'm going to put that in number one position. And I need to use him quite regularly or else I will be in trouble. Uh, okay, that'll do. Die, magic defense. So, uh, without Bless, you're gonna be in trouble. Actually, even with Bless, I can't block all of the status effects. These guys do so many status effects that Bless won't even stop them all. Unless you have a lot of stacks of Bless. Let's see, Anna managed to avoid the status effects, but her Bless went away completely. So yeah, if, if any of you guys don't know, I, I've made Bless a little bit weaker in this version because it was overpowered before. Now it's just barely strong enough to kind of keep these guys at bay for a little bit of time. But they're gonna break through it pretty fast. Which is why I'm gonna need to try to kill them very fast. And I think Natalie should be able to do that quite well now. Yeah, it took half his HP off. I think that's pretty good. Okay, I don't have any other holy spells, which was maybe a bad idea. So I'm gonna use the next best thing and just hit them all with... No, actually I shouldn't, because they're all, they're all gonna counter-attack if I hit them all. And that's not what I want, so let's focus on killing one. One at a time. Oh, he survived. That's lame. But maybe I can catch him now. So I hope he stays al alive a little bit longer. No, he's dead. I think the burn killed him. Otherwise the poison would have healed him. But I think the burn hit him first. Oh, I can't see my stats anymore. Okay, Lance, you can, uh, you can nuke these guys. That's what you're good for. Here you go.
That's a lot of damage. Oh, oh yeah, I killed no legs. Oh well, he wasn't doing anything anyway. Can I use, uh... Oh, she can't take a turn? Is Natalie stunned? And I don't know about it because I can't... No! Is Anna confused? Yeah, okay, uh... I should use Bless again if I get a chance. But I don't think I'm gonna get a chance. All of my characters are gonna be wiped out. Yeah, I'm not the least confused. I'm in trouble. Yeah, I'm not even gonna get a turn. Okay, there's a small chance that I will survive. I just need to get rid of those status effects. These guys don't do very much damage, but the status effects they do are terrible. So I'm gonna take a risk and do this. I really need to heal, but it's more important that I don't get confused. And he's dead. And everyone's dead. Yeah, oh well. Boo. Alright, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try that again. I don't have enough SP this time, so I'm going to come back when I have more SP. What's that? A secret combination? Debuffs enemy attack. Hmm, that might be useful against some bosses, but probably not this one. Alright, let's kill some of these regular enemies while I recharge my SP. Okay. So I'm gonna probably wipe out my party with this. They're level 18. Okay, okay. So I'm gonna give everyone auto revive and now I'm gonna wipe out my party all right uh, let's see how much damage this does because it's gonna be a lot oh, not that much 35,000 I forget that wraiths are sometimes resistant to holy. But it would be too easy if they weren't. Holy and dark elements are a bit overpowered. Okay, I guess you're up no legs. Okay, no legs make me proud. Try to kill them all. Yeah, wow. Not bad. Oh yeah, some of the ghosts are surrendering because I've got the cross. But some of the ghosts are going berserk. Oh, I should try to capture that chomper. Okay, uh, Anna, what can you do? Actually, 
Mighty Oak should be quite useful here. Oh well, who cares? Yeah, my dead party members get XP because I'm playing on a custom game mode uh, called Scaling Foes, which means my players and the foes are always at a balanced level, so I can't fall behind or get ahead. Bad status. Let's get rid of that. Okay, now we can see that he's probably gonna get captured. Oh, oh okay, that wasn't good enough, I guess. it's kind of easier if enemies have more health to capture them, but most of the time you don't really have to put their health that low. If you put on a lot of status effects, that's usually enough. And at least on easier difficulties, you don't have to worry about being killed while you're trying to capture something. Wait, I shouldn't waste my SP. That's amateurish. No legs, you don't have any good attacks. Five thousand damage. Psh, out of time. Uh, yeah, the beta version 2.0 is out. It's up on Steam. All you have to do is uh, go into the game properties in the Steam client and uh, select the betas tab and select version 2.0. And uh, that'll start downloading the new version. Which at the moment is English only, but otherwise it's pretty stable so you don't have to worry about bugs or anything too much and you can use your old saved game on that if you want or you can play from the beginning which is probably worthwhile because there's a lot of new features Flee now, Cat King is angry. Not good to anger Cat King. Cat King rule forest now, ever since Great Purge. What is that about Cat King? Cats are lame and weak. There's no way they can hurt us. Cat King live at west edge of forest. You die if go. Weaklings have no choice. What you say? Only Water Walker can reach. Only walk on water with special boots. Special boot high in green tree. Only ape can get. That was useful. Oh, uh, let's fight this guy. Okay. Alright, I should try to catch a bear. Because I suck at catching. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll use this just so that I, uh, I don't get wiped out by the bears. I'll have enough defense so that I can capture safely. Ha! 
how much time did I spend developing EBA 5? Well, you can read through my blog to see when I started working on it. And it was four years ago. So, you can probably work that out if you consider that it's a full-time job. Oh, Lance is dead. Oh boy. That doesn't matter. Stupid bushes. Okay. That's, uh... Oh. oh okay. Hmm. His HP is so low that even the worm might kill him, but I, I think I need to do this. Okay, the worm's very nice. The worm's not gonna kill anything. Natalie needs to learn this. And maybe this as well? Actually, yeah, that'll be useful. Is that his death? Or is that doom? Is, uh, is this giving doom? Nice. I'm not sure how useful that is, but we'll see. Anyway, it's good to have a Area of Effect Holy Skill. Let's level this up as well. What's her Unleash? Psychon. I guess that might actually do more damage than Holy Light. And I'm still forgetting to use her Defend. Cat Wizard. Okay, that's useful. Do I have any better, uh, better armor? Anything offensive? Uh, oh, this gives her more attack. That's got really good stats. But it only improves bomb and earth spells that she doesn't have. That, uh, that doesn't, that doesn't matter for me. Okay, let's take one down at a time. Oh, no one's weak against this. Oh well, whatever. Okay, they can't counterattack if they're dead. So that's all I have to do. Let's see how strong uh, Saiken is when Natalie uses it. That wasn't very strong at all. Probably because it's a physical attack. Yeah, that's probably why it's so weak. Otherwise, it would be much stronger. Maybe I should reconsider that one. Anyway, let's uh, let's switch some of these guys out. Okay, no legs. It's your turn. Oh, 
Oh, he's gonna die anyway. Oh, I'm running out of time. Uh, no, I'm not gonna add voice acting because the game's already finished. So I'm not gonna make a major change like that at this point. And uh, it would be a huge, huge effort to add something like that to a game with so much dialogue. And it's not really worth it, I think. It, it wouldn't really add that much to the game, besides a lot of extra work. What's inside this treasure chest? Let's see. Oh, trees. Okay, uh... I don't think I'm even gonna get a turn here. I'm gonna come back to this, and maybe I'll need stun resistance. <laughs> when Cat King kills, soul is absorbed into body. Cat King collect many soul over year. Cat King is one in many, powerful army. We worship by wearing bark of the Cat King on face. Yeah, cats don't have bark though, that's dogs. Okay, let's put on some stun resistance. Do I have any? Who has stun resistance? Anything that gives me stun resistance? Oh, this does. Just one thing. I don't know if that's good enough. I can't even upgrade it. So, I'm gonna come back to that one. It's not just a phase. I really have no soul. My parents refused to cater to my evil needs, so I ran away from home. But I'm getting kind of hungry now, and I've got some wounds that need to be bandaged up. Cool. Okay, give me the stuff. You guys are much better than my parents. They never gave me this much chocolate. They also didn't let me sacrifice birds and rabbits. See, that's what you would get if this game had voice acting. So, I don't think a lot of people would enjoy that. One day I'll graduate from God to Necromancer. I'll teach my parents not to look down on me. Uh, 
I don't know what to do here. Well, when in doubt, just use the big bomb. It usually works reasonably well. And if it doesn't, it staggers everything. enemies uh standing on the background a little bit. Oh well I'm probably not gonna fix that. Uh let's see what should I do? Okay, whatever. Non elemental attack. doesn't need to voice Anna because I can do it. I can do all the voices myself, obviously. What? He absorbs water. Oh yeah. Forgot about that. Uh, whatever. Tremor at some point, that'll be useful. Until then, I'll have to use this one. Hmm. Yeah, I haven't upgraded uh, Log either. I need to upgrade my Earth skills. Lance, what are you gonna do? You don't have anything useful. I didn't know Maz had another turn. Childhood won't continue because you're probably an adult. And if you're not, you will be soon. The game series has been going long enough, so. Uh, you gotta grow up at some point. Okay, 
Let's uh, let's level this up. Actually, let's give that to Natalie. There you go, because she has Earth Skill Boost. So that should be quite useful on her. What does Shroud do? It stops you from seeing enemies' HP and status effects. And it also does the same thing on the players. So it's, uh, it can really sabotage you because you might not see if you're stunned or, or whatever. And uh, that can be very bad. All right, Natalie, time to shine. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and use, yeah, let's use fire. Oh well, not the best. Uh, $100,000 is not enough to make EBF6, especially in 3D. For $100,000, you can get EBF4, maybe. Please don't counter. Confuse. Nice dodge. Nice. No legs, you should be dead many times. Confused Anna. Well, uh, she's not gonna get a turn anytime soon. Okay, Natalie, try to kill this bear in one hit. Good job. Oh, are these guys weak against her? Yes, and no. Okay. Oh no, she's uh she's confused as well. Come on, no legs. Well that was pointless because they already wasted their turns. Stop. Okay, no legs is somehow still alive. <laughs> okay, let's see how much damage this does. Oh, that was not actually very good. Huh, I thought it would do more. Oh. These enemies aren't very strong, but somehow they're giving me a hard time. Yeah, I forgot to buff Natalie's magic attack, that's why she wasn't doing very much damage. Oh well, I can either spend my time uh, reading enemy descriptions and seeing what they're weak against, 
Or I can just spend my time doing attacks that do almost no damage. I, th I think that's more entertaining. Uh, do I need Natalie? No, I don't. I'll, I'll get Lance. Uh, yeah, I, I should defend myself because it's a dragon. Uh, might as well. Oh, my defense is gone already. Nice. Heal me. He's weak against water, I think. Yep. Ooh. Hoo hoo hoo. Hoo 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 hoo. Okay, let's try to capture him. <laughs> okay, bad luck. Come on. Okay, that should be enough to catch him. Best food is obviously pizza. I don't think that's a question that even needs to be asked. Oh yeah, this treasure chest. Big backtracking one. Okay, worms. Time to die, worms. Uh, Just to make sure that everyone is wiped out. Yeah, the game gets uh, quite a lot easier once you get those debuffs. Oh, they survived anyway. Oh well, they're not very dangerous. Earth and holy. Okay. I'm not afraid of these guys. Actually. Ah, oh, I'll let no legs finish them off. to think. Just shoot. Alright, let's uh let's get some fire damage out here. Okay Lance, you better kill him. Not even close. Man. 
I have miscalculated. reuse stuff from one more final battle uh nothing's really old and anything i reused from there i would have to redraw anyway and uh reusing stuff's actually pretty boring especially if i have to redraw it and can't just just copy and paste you know okay treasure chest Oh, I know. I haven't used steroids in a very long time. Some people ask me to uh, make a button that automatically uses all of the steroids. And my reply is, why wouldn't you want to do this manually? I mean, look how much fun I'm having. There you go. Everyone's had a lot of food now. Hell yeah, cutscene. We're almost done. This is the tightest spot. Once we crawl through here, it'll get much easier. I'm starting to wonder if an honorable death would have been preferable to this utter humiliation. Oh, the case will be arranged. We don't need complainers around here. Huh? What are you saying? I'm not looking, I swear. No legs is lying. <laughs> Yeah, that's uh, quality voice acting right there. Now you have to hire me if any studios are watching. Anya laughing at me in the other room. So I'm not safe anywhere. Let's see. What can I do? It's my strongest non elemental skill. No, actually, I should be trying to catch these fish. There we go. Now I can kill them. Alright. Go for it, no legs. See that? Wow, that's a that's a big guy. Okay, I got some quest items, so that's gonna be useful. But anyway, look, let's take another look. So, so this mammoth, yeah, he he was just up there, you know, just foraging for berries, and now we have to end his life. Because he's blocking the path. Actually, I don't think he even is blocking the path. We can just go around him, but... But we still need to kill him. Uh, let's, let's get some defense up here.
who has defense down? Where did I put that skill? Is it you, no legs? You don't have it either. Why did I give it to you? Math shouldn't have that skill. Uh, okay, no legs. Give him another turn. Oh, that didn't even work on the mammoth anyway. Do I have anything that will dry? Okay, I'm just gonna dry the mammoth and then attack him the next turn. Oh, I can't hit him with that. Ah. Okay. Of course he survived. But it's probably good that he did, so now we can catch him. A faith worse than death itself. scan these enemies before catching them, so I have no idea what's actually going to work on them. Of course, no legs has to take the final damage. Okay, he's out of the way. Sushi, nice. Might as well use that right away. Uh, yeah, okay, let's go ahead. Hmm. Let's, let's catch one. Thunderstorm. Okay, just randomly get hit by thunder. Okay. HP actually. In that case, I'm going to have to do a bit more damage. Yeah, yeah, that's, uh, that's a good amount. I think that's much better. Heal just in case. Okay, that's not very useful. Hell yeah, meow magazine. Guys, an 
Nice to see you again, travelers. We plan to camp out here and protest environmental destruction, global warming, capitalism, and all that jazz. Well, these woods are evil, man. Screw them. Yeah, I agree. We can't even sleep because we hear all these weird noises at night. We'll wake up and find all this voodoo crap lying around. None of it ain't right, man. Yeah, that's not good. I guess they won't be needing their stuff if they die. Yeah. Yeah, that's totally how the characters sound. That's what I envisioned when I wrote the dialogue. So now if anyone else does a stream of this game, then they have to do the exact same voices, otherwise they're not being authentic to the source material. Time to think. Uh, okay. I hope that works. Oh yeah, yeah, they, they just need to make sure that Natalie in particular stays dead. these guys off before they do more damage. Maybe? Okay, don't mess this up. Good job. This forest area is taking longer than I remember. But we're, uh, we're not even almost done, actually. There's quite a, little, uh, quite a little bit of backtracking left to do. <laughs> All right, let's defend. Let's boost my attack. Afraid of fish. Do your worst. Okay, that was that was quite a lot of damage, but I'm still alive. So uh, let's go for it. Yep, pretty good. Pretty happy with that. Oh, Matt th is the one that died. Okay, we can uh, we can work with this. Yeah, no problem. Uh, golden ticket. Okay, fair enough. Hold on a second, uh, I think I might have missed something. Yeah, almost forgot about that one. Is that useful for me? Gives the player doomed status. Cast skeleton on Ooh, cast skeleton, uh, zombie hydra rather. But, is it worth it? That gives me dooms. I don't know if I want to use that. Not in this situation, anyway. 
Let's put you back to where you were, no legs. Actually, that book of spells wasn't very good either. I don't know what you're supposed to be doing right now, no legs. You're not really good at anything. for now. I mean, it does give you good magic power. Yeah, this game came out a year ago, so uh, you're a bit behind if you haven't played it yet. I just released a big update, yes, not two days ago, but it's uh, it's still in beta, which means it's not 100% finished. But it's very close, so you could play it now, and you really wouldn't miss out on anything. Oh yeah, almost forgot about this guy. Diamond Key. Oh, another mammoth. What was he doing up there? I guess we'll never know, because we can't speak mammoth, and now he's gonna die. Well, no, not really. If, if the game's in beta, I'm just fixing a few bugs. I'm not really making any substantial changes anymore. It is very much finished. So, don't get your hopes up for any more updates, really. It is finished. Yeah, I should be using this. There we go. Oh, okay. Well, that didn't save her life. That's okay. Someone else will take her place. Just like in real life. Everyone's typing. What did he mean by that? Yeah, you can keep your save data. That's all transferable before, between pretty much any version of the game. But you might not be able to go backwards to older versions. But uh, if you play the beta, there's a small chance you might encounter some bugs that will damage your save file. But I think it's quite unlikely. So you should back up your saves beforehand anyway. You've got plenty of uh, save slots, so you don't need to just use one. Uh, what am I doing? Poison. Yeah, that'll work. Uh, yeah, the optional areas do give XP on this mode. Uh, I think the boss rushes do as well. But I, I don't know if anyone's played that far. 
so I don't really know how much XP you'll get, but probably a lot. If things keep going well and I keep streaming everything, then I'll eventually get there too. No, because I don't have Holy Arrow either. I don't have any Blech. I don't have anything useful on these characters. This is why I'm leaving all the hard stuff for the end of the game, where I have all the skills. And I don't have to try to remember what skills to guess, I'll just have everything. So I'm gonna kill a mammoth, but it's not gonna matter because he's just gonna come back to life. Oh, and he survived anyway. are two of my best attackers, and they're both, both dead, so... Okay, Crab helped, but it didn't help enough. Just die! Alright, nice, chicken, yeah. I love chicken when it comes from a mammoth. You never know what animal you're getting when you eat chicken. Alright, jukebox. Cool, that's, uh, that's music from, uh, from some other game. It's probably not one you've ever heard of, though. Oh, I almost forgot about this. So, do I have all of those bottles? What am I doing here? That's not where I want to go. I want to go backtracking. Now I've got the boots. And I can finish off this area. And this quest. I can find. Ooh, two skills. I forgot I put that here. That's a very good skill. That's a super useful skill. So I'm gonna. Should I give it to Natalie? She already has holy spells. Let's see. No one else really knows how to use holy magic right now, so I might as well give it to her. It's not very powerful. It's oh, it's weaker than Holy Light, but it's still gonna do more damage on her than on anyone else. And I'm just gonna use it for the dispel effect. Ninety-five. Why is the maximum chance ninety-five? Wait a second. Is that a typo? Yeah, that's a typo. It should go up to a hundred. Oh wait, no, I'm an idiot. It's not. It's not maxed out. I'm very dumb. I think I'm turning into a boomer. Okay. Uh, let's find those lily pads. Here we go. Okay, there's a some sort of living slime mold over here. We need to put him out of his misery. Oh, he's a, he's a new monster, actually. Well, in that case, I better capture him. Oh, he's dead. Uh, I'm gonna try that one again. So... What if 
if I just hit him like this. Well, that wasn't even enough damage to capture him. Well, I'll just use the worm. The worm always works. Thanks, worm. We appreciate your service in subjugating your friends. Can you transfer cheat data? No, the cheats and challenges are tied to the specific save game. So they won't affect your other games. Alright, let's start that from the beginning. Okay. You'll pay $60 for Epic Battle Fantasy VI. Well, unfortunately I don't think everyone will. Goldfish, either, but they seem to be quite common. I mean, goldfish are way more common than uh, green bushes, right? Green bush is a pretty rare beast. That was really weak. What the hell? What is going on? I absorb bomb, what am I supposed to do? I can't even use that? Oh, come on. Running out of time here. Okay, this will do. If that doesn't kill them, then uh, I'll be able to capture them, so I win either way. Oh, looks like they're gonna die. Okay. Uh, EBF5 is gonna go up to $20 once the beta is done. Screamer. Uh, I don't remember where you get it, but I think it's... No way, did that... I think that kid gave it to me, actually, you're right. Maybe I could use that then. Uh, Alright, let's just summon this guy. Okay, I'm left with the goldfish. So, I should be able to capture him. No. Oh, okay. He's just a healer. Okay. Oh, he's got Bless. Well, let's hit him one more time. Alright, what do we get here? 
mushroom, and other stuff. Okay, uh, let's take this first. Ah, let's take this one first. Monster here. Let's see who's left. Okay, that guy over there. Ah, oh, he's what are chocolate slimes weak against? Uh, I don't remember. It doesn't matter. Let's just jump into it. And I've already captured them anyway, so I can just kill them. They're against dark. I don't have any dark spells. Actually, you know, I'm just gonna learn some dark spells right now. Why not? I probably have enough SP to learn quite a few things. Oh, no I don't. I don't have enough SP. I don't have enough AP to learn that. Okay, better than nothing though. And that one's maxed out, okay. I've not been using Lance as much as I could. Okay, nukes upgraded. Ion cannon. No one's really using electric attacks. Ooh, hyper beam. Actually, that'll be useful. Oh, it'll give everyone berserk. Is that because of... Yeah, it's because of his gun. Oh well, still useful. I think. Alright. Oh, you like a new IP? Uh, well, if, uh, I'm up for trying new types of games, but I probably will use the same characters in most of them. Even if it's a game that plays completely differently. If that's what you mean. Oh boy, out of time, out of time. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna run and start this wave again. Oh, that's uh, a bit unfair. Yeah, that feels like cheating. Alright, let's just wipe these guys out. They never stood a chance. Hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Oh, can't use that again. Can't use this. Whatever. Oh, oh, this dark bush. Uh, he's level 34. So that's actually pretty high level. But Natalie should be able to kill him in one hit if she hits. Yep. Squid, huh? Okay. Okay. Alright. That's uh it's not too bad. Does anyone have instant death on them? I don't think so. Actually, let's uh Let's get our defense up, because these squid are gonna use a lot of stabby attacks. Alright, then. Hmm. Actually, no legs. Let's give this guy another turn. Why don't I make Nasalee's limits break like what? I don't understand. Or maybe I missed what you said before. Oh, I'm out of beer. I guess I used too much. still works in Chrome for now. Oh wait, I wanted to kill the other one. Oh, I guess I killed everything. That's pretty good. But, uh, I'll have to catch him later. Natalie sexualized? Well, that's the whole reason I made the character, really. Alright, uh, fighting this boss will probably be the last thing I do on this stream, because it's coming up to three hours soon. Cats don't have anything useful. Uh, when the timer runs out, my turn is over. Uh, I'm playing on a challenge that gives me 30 seconds to take my turn. Right, I can turn that off whenever I want, but I think it makes uh, gameplay a lot more interesting. And it also gives you guys something new to see when you watch, because tons of people have asked about it. I'm 
mean, if you want Nathalie's Limit Break to be more work safe, you can just turn that on in the options, and then it'll be her in pajamas. And that's what the options are for, if you don't like it. I try to fight these trees again? Uh, I'll give it another try. Uh, let's see, what do I need? Stun protection. That's not gonna happen. 35 stun resistance is the best I can do, I think. Yeah, I really don't have anything to help me with stun. Oh, nurse. Nurse uniform, okay. Yes, please. Any armor on this guy? Oh, okay. Homeless gear. Uh, let's give that to Matt. And okay, he is now immune to stun, so I actually have a chance this time. Okay, that didn't help at all. getting more turns. That went very well. I'm very optimistic that uh, this is the beginning of a great time. Well, you know, maybe that was just really bad luck and things will go better this time. Why did Matt die so quickly? I thought he was bulkier than that. Oh, I need to change my equips again. Oh, wow. What did I give you, Natalie? Nurse, okay, yeah. So, what can I do to survive uh, that stupid attack? Anything give me more defense? No, okay. This gives me some poison resistance. That should help. But only against the status effect. I need poison resistance against the elements. Okay. Lance can do it. Give me your mask. Okay. Now mats should definitely survive. And let's put no legs in there, because his evade is high. Okay, there's no way they're going to kill everyone this time. No way. See, you can't do any damage to Mass now. There we go. All I needed was one guy alive. What am I supposed to do with these guys, though? They're not very good. Let's get Natalie back, because I need her limits break. Oh, it's not ready. Ah. Uh, you know what? Let's, uh... Let's try to take out one of these trees. Let's 
useful, but that's not enough. I just have to do the same thing. And people tell me that offensive summons are not useful. Well, they're wrong. Sometimes you don't have time to power up your players and you just gotta use a summon. Oh, I never gave revive to anyone. Everyone should have revive. Uh, do I have any future plans for Bullet Heaven 3? Uh, maybe. I don't know. I don't. I, I got pretty bored of working on that game as well, even though it only took one year. If I do make Bullet Heaven 3, it'll probably be different in some way. I might go back to the kind of leveling up of the first game where you have permanent upgrades. Or I might do something clever and have both modes where you have a serious mode with no permanent upgrades and one where you do. But I'm not in a hurry to make that because I'm, I'm reasonably satisfied with the previous game. And I don't know if making a new one would be particularly fun unless I had some some fresh ideas for how to make it stand out from other shoot 'em ups But there's a lot of games in that genre, so it's pretty hard to do something new. Come on, stupid trees. Stop killing me. I just need to do a bit more damage, and I should be able to get... Ugh. These counterattacks. Bad counterattacks. Should I gamble everything? I'm gonna gamble that this guy will get captured. If he's not captured, he will kill me. Okay. Good job. That could have backfired very easily. You're worried that console and PC games will become a thing of the past? Well, I think that's totally within your control. Like, if people keep buying PC games, they're not gonna go away. Like, people just need to buy the ones they like, and then developers will keep making them. Right now, mobile is quite profitable because you can exploit morons with microtransactions. But, you know, maybe someday that will be ruled illegal by the courts in Europe or something. And it possibly should be. Because it's, it's very manipulative. So at that point, maybe mobile won't be so profitable anymore, and uh, maybe more people will be making PC and console games again. So I'm looking forward to something like that happening, because I really don't want to make horrible games full of microtransactions and other garbage. Anyway, I'm going to take on this boss. Uh, I don't think there's anything else I should be doing at this point. I think this is probably... A good final battle for the stream. I'll just have to, uh, I'll have to get ready, but I think mostly I need fire, and if I have lots of fire skills, that should be enough to power through. Natalie doesn't need holy for this battle, so I'm gonna switch her back to fire. Oh, the fire staff also boosts holy as well, so that's pretty useful. She doesn't need this anymore. We can go back to this dress. Good, good, good. Is any of this stuff useful? Oh, this might be useful, actually. 
Can I even give curse to the boss? I don't remember. Well, I'll give her this. So she can apply curse. Uh, oh, she... Actually, Anna, give me that. If I'm gonna make Natalie my attacker, then she has to stay alive. Which means she's gonna need poison and earth resistance. And I'm also gonna give her this brush. Which maybe will improve her damage a little bit. So, who else? Okay, Lance should be an attacker too. Uh, Matt's already got some resistance to poison, so I can give this to Lance. What is this helmet actually good for? Actually, let's put the cardboard back box back on. Okay, yeah, max box. Yeah, that's pretty good. It gives me lots of buffs on defend. So, Lance can take this. That'll be useful for this fight. Anything else? Oh, that armor gives you fire boost, so I'll give that to Math. Don't need this anymore. Do I want dry? Who gives dry? It's none of these guys. I can give dry with uh, Sand Dune anyway. Okay, so. Anna, you're not gonna be on the front line very much, so I'll give this to. to this guy. Okay. Earth resistance. You have tons of earth resistance, no legs. Give that to someone else. Oh, why, why is Matt weak against earth? Oh, the sword. Okay, well, he definitely needs earth resistance in that case. Okay, we've got the original team in that case. So let's save the game and let's jump into it. Alright, first I'm going to read the comments real quick. Where is this area in the beta? Uh, which area? There's lots of areas in the beta. You, you should probably play the game from the beginning so you find everything. Uh, then sometimes you just gotta use Viking Monolith. Yeah, I, I didn't capture him, can't use him. Yeah, you're playing the beta from scratch, good. It's probably the best way to play it if you have enough time. Yeah, there's new rooms in the museum, so there's a good reason to collect all the achievements because the final room has some new stuff in it that's pretty cool. I won't tell you what it is, but it's it's much more worth trying to get into this time. Because there wasn't very much in that room before, but now there is something interesting inside. Yeah, mobile games are selling very well because everyone has a mobile phone, but the people playing those games aren't... Well, some people might call them gamers, but I wouldn't. They're, they're like casual people who will just play anything and they probably don't even know what good games look like. But uh, the other thing is about mobile games is that most of the money is being made by a small number of games at the top that have really big marketing budgets. I think the average mobile game probably doesn't make very much. It's The numbers are probably being skewed upwards by a few really incredibly popular ones. Which is a shame, because I would like to see a bit more variety. But uh, there's definitely a few indie games on there that are doing okay. But they're hard to find. They're hard to find because the curation is not very good. There should be a much easier to find section on the mobile stores that just shows you microtransaction free games, like games with no horrible uh, strategies for monetization, you know, games that maybe you just pay for once, or maybe they are actually free with like a expansion pack you can buy or something and games that just don't bother you with endless ads and microtransactions and they don't try to spy on you and they don't give you notifications every day because that stuff is horrible and it really puts me off playing any mobile games and it should be made much easier to avoid that stuff but I guess not enough people are complaining about it which is a shame yeah, it's a shame that's the best way to make money on mobile you have to do horrible things otherwise people won't pay your games I mean, they won't pay for your games.
Uh, instead of banning memes, you should have tried to ban microtransactions. I agree, that would have been a good move. Maybe not all microtransactions, but particularly predatory ones where you just buy things that don't have any value, like, uh, like you get a game over and then you can pay to revive your character. I think that's really bad design, and uh, it really messes with you. It gets you like addicted to a game, and then you have to pay so you don't lose your progress. What the hell is that? That's really exploitative, and stuff like that should be illegal, or it should be classified as gambling or something, and not be allowed to be played by kids. And uh, people who make games like that should be shunned, because that's a really bad practice that I think gives the rest of us... Not only it gives developers a bad reputation, but it also lowers the bar for what you have to do to actually make money on mobile. So now it's not really feasible to charge for a game up front, because everyone expects mobile games to be free, at the cost of horrible microtransactions being added. So. Yeah, the bar's been lowered really badly. Really, really low. And it's a shame, because I'd love to see kind of more ethical games being made for mobile. And I, I, I know there's a lot of them, but they're large, largely overshadowed by those really popular ones. Okay, I think it's probably time to fight the boss. So, uh, yeah, 11 hours into the game. And uh, that sounds like a lot, but there's still so much of this game to go. It's gonna take me a long time to get through everything. Alright, well, let's, uh, let's start off with the buffs. Uh, with all the fire skills we have, we should be able to destroy this guy in no time at all. I love the sound of cats screaming. That's what I do this for. That's why I fight. That's my reason for existing. Cats must suffer. Maybe healed. Oh, now they're buffing too. Don't you dare kill Anna! Wow, just, just barely. You know, she almost made it. Almost. Okay, no legs. Now's your chance. Save us from ourselves. Okay, Anna, you're alive. Now get out of here. Let's bring Lance in and. Oh, your limit break's not charged. Very close though. Okay, whatever. We'll use your nuke on the next turn. Oh, I haven't caught Suicide Cat. How do I catch him? He's uh he's bulked up, man, and he's gonna kill himself before I have a chance to catch him. Whatever, limit break. Here we go. That wasn't that strong. I get your seed off of me, tree. That's inappropriate. Oh, okay, uh, uh, okay. I'm okay though, I'm alive. Okay, he's, uh, he's defending himself. Okay, well, he is almost dead already, so. Actually, yeah, I, I am killing him pretty fast. 
But, uh, I need to heal now or I will die. I, I don't I wouldn't say microtransactions are harmless because even if you're not addicted to them, then they still ruin the balance of the game because it means the whole game is balanced in a way that encourages you to spend money every five minutes. Like RPGs for example have a horrible grinding curve that just encourages you to pay. And uh, I just ranted too much. So even if you're not buying microtransactions, the games are made worse just by having them in them. Oh man, I wanted everyone alive. Oh no, it was it was Anna that was supposed to use the thing. No likes, are you dead or are you alive? Okay, no likes is alive. No likes, give your turn to Anna. Anna do the she can't do the thing. Okay. Well she can do this. Didn't work. Why didn't it work? Is he resistant to dispel? Okay, okay, okay. Lance, you're not gonna get to use your nuke this time. You need to heal everyone. And no legs, get that cloud off of your head. I wanna see what your stats are. I wanna know if you're alive or not. Well, in a reasonable world, microtransactions wouldn't work because people would stop buying games that have them. But uh, apparently not enough people care. So they're still profitable, and I wish they weren't. Alright, well, let's just finish this guy off. Actually, what I should do is try to capture him. This should dispel. No? Is his dispel resistance so high? I mean, I obviously am not going to scan a boss, because why would I need to do that? Oh, okay. That would be a shame for me to lose right when I'm about to win. Oh, I can't even use heal more. Well then, I'm in a bad situation. I'm gonna... I'm gonna use a pizza. I'm probably gonna lose anyway, so it won't matter. Well, the nice thing is, if I'm not attacking, then the enemies don't counter-attack. So, it makes things a bit easier for me. Oh, okay, now Natalie's dead. How am I supposed to recover from this? I don't think I could even finish him off if I wanted to. Good boy, Toton. Don't kill me. Okay, okay. No. Why do you have to have two turns? I'm not gonna get out of this, am I? Unless... I can't remember, do cooldowns pass while you're dead? I think they do, actually, so... Maybe no legs can give me... 
No, he can't. Aw, oh, there's not much I can do here. I'm gonna die. So let's go out in style. That's sad. I think if I didn't consider catching him, I would have just finished him off, and I wouldn't have had this problem. Well, I guess I have to fight him again now. Okay, so what did I do wrong? Uh, I didn't keep my buffs up, and I didn't kill all the enemies that were helping the boss. So, maybe I should do more of that next time. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna jump back into it and try again. I don't know if I can do anything particularly different with my strategy. Oh, yeah, I could learn Revive. I think I'm gonna give that to Anna. Maybe I can give something more defensive to her. Uh, no, she's already pretty defensive. Oh, this, this is a defensive bow. Yeah, okay. That might keep Hannah alive a bit better. And Earth Resistance, and... Uh, what does that help with? Yeah, let's try giving no legs a bulkier item. Oh wait, that, no, that doesn't do what I thought it did. The stats are different. I don't know what to do with no legs. No legs, all you need to do is stay alive and buff people. Alright, let's give you more evade. Whatever. Okay, let's, let's try again. I'm just going to be more careful this time. Okay, let's, uh, I know. Let's start out with the good stuff. Probably why the boss kills me so fast. He just dispels all of my amazing buffs. Well, okay, but I'm gonna at least get my defense back. That's why I'm wearing this stupid cardboard helmet, so I can have massive defense. But that wasn't actually that much. Hmm. Okay, well, it's, uh, it's nuke time. I've been waiting for this. You're finally gonna get to suffer, boss, for everything you put me through the last time.
Suicide Cats. Well, I want to catch these guys, so I'm probably going to die while trying to catch them. <gasps> no! He countered attack! He counter attacked with suicide. And he had so much to live for. What a waste. Nah, just kidding. Cats don't have anything to live for. Oh, I don't know what to do. I'm just gonna go for it with this attack and do it. Well, that did a lot of damage. That was nice. No time to think. Oh, I didn't even. Great. So much for catching those guys. I could have been defending my characters, and now they're all dead. Uh, okay, he's burned, so he might just die of his burns after a while. Okay, no legs. We need you here. So, you're gonna bring us back to life. Okay, who's, uh, who's got buffs? We need those buffs to be on the front line. Okay, uh, give us some healing lamps. Okay, is that my last turn? Okay, what can I do with this turn? Not, not, ooh, this is an attack attack? I thought that was a magic attack. Okay, use this then. Since his defense is down, that should do a lot of damage. Oh, he's, he's gonna die. He's gonna die. Can I capture him? Do I even care enough to kill? No, I'm just gonna kill him. I'm not risking dying again. I'll capture him in the boss rush at the end when I've actually got all the equipment that I need to easily capture stuff. There we go. Okay, he died anyway, so I didn't have to worry about catching him. That's what I should have done the first time. I'm just too nice to these enemies, and that's why I end up being killed. Oh, this guy surrendered? Well, he's not getting away. He's gonna get, uh... Oh, okay, he did get away. Oops. I thought I had the Holy Staff equipped, so I was gonna hit him with that. Anyway... Yeah, we did it! The rest of those cats are on the run now! Those filthy beasts made a huge mistake when they stood in our way. They were mere cannon fodder before our combined might. Is that it, though? Was this really the cause of those undead monsters appearing in the forest? I think we might be missing part of the story here. Maybe, but how about giving us a moment to celebrate our victory first, eh? Oh, sorry, I didn't mean it that way. We did good out there. You all conducted yourselves very well in battle. Maybe soon I'll be ready to call you my comrades. Eh, comrades? Well, actually, I'm already ready to go and call you my bro, bro. Yeah. I guess Lance is starting to pay off his debt of good deeds. He's got a lot of work to do, but maybe he'll get there eventually. He only killed several villagers worth of NPCs, and I didn't really like those guys anyway, so he's okay in my books. But he still hasn't apologized for anything he's ever done wrong. Is this even my voice? I think it keeps changing. I won't apologize. I did what I believed to be right with the limited information I had at a time. Just like investing in Bitcoin. Well, we've obviously still got some rehabilitation work to do. Okay, I'm never gonna do that again, because my voice is dying. Do I have to talk to that guy? Well, I'm not gonna do his voice. I'm just gonna skip through that. Wait, what did I get? I get an ice bow? That could be useful. No, because I'm going into the ice area next. Why do I need an ice bow? Oh, maybe it'll be useful in the optional areas. Hmm. Well, I cleared out that stupid forest, so next time I can do something completely new. Maybe the zombie dungeon. Or maybe the mineshaft dungeon. Or maybe I can go do some of the... Oh, I can do this place as well. 
Or I could do the stuff that I skipped earlier. I could finish off the totems, or I could, uh... I don't know, I'm sure I skipped some other monsters that I don't even remember. But yeah, this is a uh, optional area. This means that you can play this area whenever you want. And it might be easier if I come back later. And as you, if you remember this very well, then it used to say that there's no XP here. But there is XP now because I'm playing on a special mode where my XP is, uh, the XP curve is slightly different. All the optional battles give XP in this mode and all of my characters get XP when they're dead but all the enemies level up whenever you do, so there's no way you can exploit this as far as I know. Uh, but, uh, I'll, I'll leave that for next time. And for now, I'll just leave my character here so that I know where I'm going. Let's, let's do a quick review of what we have. So, what did we find in this session? We found this guy, Snarky Radish. He's, uh... He will defend himself from predators by telling scathing jokes. This is a kind of Ben Shapiro type character. Uses a lot of words, but doesn't actually say anything that makes sense. Uh, over here we have... We already looked at Angry Bee. Uh, yeah, that's the only new card I got, I think. Snarky Radish. So, not a lot of cards this time. Uh, we finished a few quests. We have a lot of foes captured. 123, and we're not even halfway through the game. We're not even close to halfway. So we've been capturing quite a lot, actually. Wait, no, it's 123 scanned. But I, I, I've captured almost enemy, almost every enemy that I've seen. So there's not very many foes that I, I've, I've scanned but haven't captured. So uh, over time I'll fill in those gaps, and I even remember to scan all of the players, so I'm not going to have any gaps in here. Uh, this screen here looks pretty empty, there's a lot of stronger enemies still to find. This screen's very empty, and uh, this is where I think most of the bosses and the new stuff go. And the last screen's not full, we only got the first two rows I think, so... We're making progress. Still a lot of achievements to go, especially for the epic uh, boss battles, which I'm not going to do until the end, because I think they'll be a bit easier then. And uh, let's see, yeah, nothing, nothing surprising here. Anyway, I'll be back next time. That might be tomorrow, but maybe later. We'll see. So. See you later, guys, and if you want to play this version of the game, it's up on Steam. You just have to go into the game properties and opt in, otherwise you won't get it. It's not an automatic download. You have to specifically opt in to get it. And the uh, betas, uh, it's pretty stable. There's not a lot of bugs, so you don't have to worry about losing your save data or anything like that. It could happen, but I think it's quite unlikely, and you're probably quite safe to play it. Just make sure to back up your game first. And if you want to use your old save file, it's perfectly good to do that. And if you want to play for the, from the beginning, then that's also a good way of playing it, if you have enough time to do that. Because there's a lot of new custom game modes to try out, and the game will be very different from before. It'll be a totally new experience. Well, not totally new, but all the monster encounters are different, all of the weapon stats are different, and there's other customization options as well, if that's not enough. You can play through the game with only three or two or one character, if that sounds fun. So, you can try whatever you want. And, uh, I recommend actually beating the game before that, though, because some of those modes are pretty hard and unfair. So, anyway, I'm out of here. See you later.